We're back. It's Tatty Car Travels here. It's been ages. As you know, guys, 2020 has been a crazy year. Uh, what have we been doing? Well, what have I been doing? Um, just building the barn, really. So the back of the barn is now done. Uh, that took bloody ages. Doing it all on your own as well because the lockdown rules a mission. Uh, but now this workshop is more of a workable place, so I can actually crack on with things. It's a uh, I've gone for the old fashioned slabbing, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about this vehicle. So, why have I bought another bloody Land Rover? I've got all these projects here that I've still got to do. I've got the Polo, I've got the Beetle, and the old series out back. Uh, but it came up as a non runner, it was really cheap opportunity. So, I thought, do you know what? I've got to get it. So, um, yeah, boy, it's a non runner, it's an automatic vehicle. Don't know much about automatic transmissions. Um, it, the engine runs fine, it starts up, you change all the gears, no drive whatsoever. Reverse, first, uh, D, whatever. No horrible sounds, no rattles. So, um, went on the internet, not much information apart from check the oil level and make sure it's not gone into neutral on the, on the transfer box. So, I checked all these things, checked the linkages. Long story short, stripped it all apart and it was the torque converter had stripped all its teeth um, in the spine. So, that is, which is the old one? This is the old one. Oh, I'll show you this. Get the oil out. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on this, but if you can see, you've got one set of teeth and then deeper down, there's none. Well, there should be some. So that's bolted to your flywheel, engine turns around, then effectively it should a bit drive through uh, the gearbox, which it's not doing because that's spinning around, teeth all stripped, and it's not giving any drive at all. Got this other one, come with a replacement gearbox, 80 quid, so we don't know the gearbox will work. I just want to talk about that. And considering all the old teeth probably gone through my box, it's a uh, good to have a spare. Oh, you like this one. Oh, a lot of running around, you can tell we've been locked down for ages. Right, so if you're looking there, that's not a cockerel, <laughs> there is teeth. And that, oh, I'll put this on. Hardest job is locating the locks of the oil pump. Oh, there we go. Also, really important thing is make sure you locate those lugs first with the uh, torque converter, then put it back on the uh, engine. If you bolt it to the flywheel, thank you. If you bolt it to the flywheel, um, not, not locating it, as soon as you start it up, it will spin around. Uh, strip the lugs off and you won't get no oil flow. Okay. Right, it will fall off, but let me turn around. Oh, and that's drive! So, oh, and that's it falling off the lugs. So hopefully, put it back on, I should have a, a working discovery again. So we will get more videos out later um, in the year or next year. It's been a crazy year for everybody, as you know, 2020. If anybody wants a cockerel, just uh, message me and take it away anything um, and uh, hopefully we'll crack on with the polo the beetle and my old series do some more stuff with the old Land Rover and any ideas what to do with this discovery just put them in the comments um, give it away maybe who knows uh, yeah I don't need any more vehicles so uh, cheers guys and uh, hope you all have a, a better year bye